February is Black History Month. Every Thursday on Up With Creme, we look at the amazing accomplishments in the black community. Today, we go back in time to 1981, the year Spokane's first and only black mayor was elected. So Brandon T. Jones and our photographer Nathan Brand noticed that there wasn't any footage of the mayor online and wanted to see if they could change that. Yeah, good morning, Tim Channing. That's right, and we'll let you get all of the information and the story do the talking that you're getting ready to watch in a few moments. But Nathan brought me this idea last February when we were both on paternity leave. A full year later, learning more about our history here in Spokane has been an absolute honor. Right here in the basement of Crim 2, there's a story that hasn't been seen in over 40 years. The tape it lives on is outdated. We don't even have the equipment to bring it to life, but we found someone out in Suncrest who could restore what was lost. Okay, so that's our test tape. <laughs> After a long career in video production, Dan Mortimer closed his studio and moved the equipment into his basement. So when I moved out here, I had to just decide what to keep and what not to keep. So I decided to keep broadcast stuff, uh, three quarter, one inch, stuff like that. Yes, one message is Spokane is a great, great city. It's something I said all the time. Thanks to Dan, we have video. Damn. It's kind of messed up, but it'll do. There's some color. 171,000 people live in this city, but only 1.6% make up the black population. Yet, on election day, Jim Chase was elected the city's first black mayor. The victory was even a surprise to Chase. I didn't think I would get 62% uh, of the votes. This is the story of Spokane's first and only black mayor. He came to Spokane in a boxcar, started out as a shoe shiner, and ended up in the city's highest office. He never had a high school diploma. He learned because he was a ferocious reader, and that's where he got his knowledge from. James Everett Chase. It was just historical, and, and we welcomed it a man who broke barriers as the first black city councilman in 1975, and as an overwhelmingly popular mayor at a time when the Aryan Nation headquarters was just 30 minutes away in North Idaho. My memories of him is as a young person, another bigger than life person in Spokane in the black community. Maybe it was his tall stature, his magnetic personality, or the fact he married Eleanor Barrow a renowned civic leader whose father founded Spokane's first black church. Whatever it was, people seemed to gravitate towards Jim Chase. He was just well known. When he walked into a room, everybody applauded or clapped or talked to him. He just had such a pleasant demeanor. If ever there were a champion of youth in the Spokane community, it was Jim Chase. With an infectious, happy-go-lucky spirit, Air Chase was a strong advocate for children, whether it was lobbying for free swimming in public schools or establishing a youth department for the city of Spokane. The Youth Commission, one of Chase's crowning achievements, came at the end of his term when his health was failing. And when he finally was in the hospital, they hooked up the wire for the channel so that he could speak from his hospital bed and he really gave his heart out to the council. In a year from now, we will see a big difference in the youth. And they voted, it, they voted it in. People didn't know how ill Jim Chase was, so he didn't really get to see a lot of the fruits of his labor. And I went down to the hospital to see Mayor Chase, and he had just passed. And Eleanor was right beside him, standing there at the bed, and she was talking to him. And it was the most beautiful, words I have ever heard about her love for him, what he meant to her. In 1987, less than a year and a half after he left office, Jim Chase lost his battle with cancer. I heard the outpouring at his funeral was overwhelming. Over 1,200 people attended the ceremony. But as the decades passed and new residents moved in, Chase faded into the background of history. The people that knew him they're gone too. A lot of them are gone. How history is remembering him with all these named institutions, what I think is the most valuable is the legacy he has left in people. You were the first black city councilman. You are the first black mayor. Is there a message behind this? 
yes, one message is Spokane is a great, great city. Something I've said all the time. Yeah, so that was uh, wow. Mayor Jim Casey. He was born in 1914. He arrived in Spokane from Texas in 1934, and he served his community the entire time he was out here in Spokane. So it was an honor to learn more about him and, and to just be able to share this story with all of you. Yeah, no, a really incredible story. And uh, kudos to you and Nathan yeah. Brand working on this project for about a year now. Brandon, you know, uh, I think most people would be surprised to mm -hmm. know that there was a black mayor in Spokane. Yeah. You might know that if you are involved in, you know, lo your local government or you've been to the city hall, but mm -hmm. uh, what's something that really surprised you uh, in the process yeah. while putting the story together? Well, yeah, no, I ha had no idea. You know, I've lived out here for a few years now and had no idea who Mayor Chase was. Uh, and so that is what really surprised me. And uh, Nathan is like a historian. So mm -hmm. being able to work with him and him dig up all of that footage that you saw, it was such a blessing to be able to uncover that and just have those conversations. Awesome yeah. job, Brandon. It's such an incredible story, one that we all enjoyed so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.